Hey everybody, this is Bloody Hatchets, and welcome back to another tutorial. This one here will be a very simple way how you can make your own gassed hot air balloon. And like I said guys, this is so very simple, and it looks really cool. If anybody was going your world, they would know straight away what this is supposed to be. And this is made to where it cannot shoot anybody on survival. So you can actually have this on survival. I don't know why you would want to do that on survival. This is mainly for, you know, a creative build in a city or something like that. So let's go ahead and get this started, guys. Alright guys, the very first step you need to do is go ahead and get you a piece of soul sand. Now, once you get your piece of soul sand placed the height that you want this to be at, what you need to do next is go ahead and get a block of choice. You need to place the block of choice all the way around just like this. Alright? Now what you need to do is go ahead and come out one, two, three, four, five, and then go ahead and put one right here. You're gonna go ahead and put powered rails all the way down and also on top of this soul sand. Next, what you wanna do is go ahead and put a block here and go ahead and put a regular piston right there. We'll need that later on. So this is what you guys should have so far. Very simple. Now what you need to do guys is go ahead and put your block here doesn't really matter what you use just block of choice uh, now what we're gonna do guys is go ahead and get your uh, minecart place your minecart on there now this is very important that you do this step here come up one two and then place one right there that will be the detection uh, indicator if this block is not there then the gas can kill you and shoot you and you don't want that happening so make sure you put that block go up one two and then one right there all right now what we're gonna do guys is go ahead and place a uh, power source in there so your rail will be your minecart will be going back and forth and now go ahead and get a gas egg and place off this block now that will spawn your gas inside of your cart all right once you've done that guys go ahead and get your uh, name tag and name your gas so it does not be spawned very important all right now let's go ahead and go right in here now you see the rail that's on the soul sand you need to very carefully destroy that rail just like that so now what happened guys is your gas is what inside there you see there okay it's what you want to happen now go ahead and power this piston right here because it will push this block right there and block the gas in there so go ahead and power that up destroy that destroy that and now let's look in here you see the gas is completely stuck now all you need to do is go ahead and get rid of these blocks here go up under here and make sure you do not accidentally destroy your soul sand because the whole thing will fall down all right now let's go ahead and put the ropes on here now i'm going to use oak fence you guys can use any other uh, fencing or maybe an iron bars what you need to do is place a block of choice right there makes it a little bit easier so you don't accidentally uh, break your soul sand so come out from that one two and then two more to where it's on the corner here and go ahead and do the same way on this side now go ahead and delete these right here and go ahead and delete that block of choice now what we're going to do is go ahead and bring these down until you get on this back corner. Go ahead and delete these here. And we're going to do the same thing on this side as well. Just like that. And now go ahead and delete these as well. Alright guys, now the easiest way to do this is go ahead and get yourself a block of redstone. And come down from this two blocks just like that. Now go ahead and get yourself a regular piston, take out that top redstone block and face the regular piston up like that and that will push the fence up into the gas. 
just like that. So go ahead and do that same thing all the way around. All right, now once you've done that all the way around, this is what you should have. All right, now go ahead and get your oak fence and continue them on down a total of five more. So one, two, three, four, and five. And do that all the way around. All right, guys, now you should have something that looks a little bit like this. Once you've got this, go ahead and go to the bottom of these ropes and go ahead and place a full block of oak planks like this. Now go ahead and take upside down oak wood stairs and place three like that, connect it up. And you're going to do this on all corners. So let's go ahead and put our oak slabs in there, double them up, make them a full block. Take our oak wood stairs and come across this way. Connect all this up, guys. Alright, now once you've got that, go ahead and take your half slabs of oak and place all the way around the top, just like this. And once you've done that, go to the bottom. On all stairs, go ahead and do the same thing with the half slabs. And then go ahead and take them and connect them up. Alright, almost done. Now go to the bottom of it and we're going to make ourselves a 3x3. Three three. And there we go. Alright guys, now go ahead and go to the inside here and go ahead and place a layer of your half slab down. Alright guys, and the less finished touch I think would look cool is go ahead and put a metal -y looking block there. And then go ahead and put a lever on the bottom side of it. Alright everybody, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If so, don't forget to hit that like button and leave any kind of feedback down below. Please subscribe if you're new. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.